camera mark. Stand by. Action! It would be hard to find anyone who has made more Americans laugh over the past decade than they have. Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Harold Ramis, Rick Moranis, and director Ivan Reitman. Hi, folks. In Second City and Saturday Night Live, in Caddyshack, Meatballs, Stripes, Animal House, Blues Brothers, Tootsie, Trading Places, National Lampoon's Vacation, and more. As actors, back off, man. I'm a scientist. You're more like a game show host. Writers. I do write them big, though. I write them big, but they make them. And directors. They've earned a distinguished place in the history of film and television humor. To do a comedy with Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray and Harold Ramis and Rick Moranis, I mean, you know that it's going to be sort of loose and crazy. We're not here just to get a couple of yucks. <laughs> no, that's not what we're about. And we're not here to just to stay off the streets. We're here to do something very, very important. Hey, anybody see a ghost? But now, for the first time ever, they're all working together on one major motion picture. Hey, Robin! Robin! Take care of the by action! <laughs> Ghostbusters. A huge, hilarious movie from the maker of Meatballs and Stripes, Ivan Reitman. That everyone has a ghost problem in the city and that it's getting out of hand and this is really the only group who can take care of this. Ghostbusters updates a classic theme from the great comedies of the past. And combines it with some of the most spectacular special effects ever seen in a contemporary motion picture. What we did was just take the old comedy concept of ghost busting, ghost breaking that Abbott and Costello and that uh, all those teams uh, did. You see it? What was it? We'll get back to you. And we apply this new technology to it. Everyone knows we have something very good, you know. The crew knows it's funny. And they're in so we clown around and everybody laughs. And it, it, it's infectious. I am the key master. There's something very strange about that man. Like Murray, Aykroyd, and Ramis, Rick Moranis got his start in comedy with the famed Second City troupe, which furnished much of the talent for both Saturday Night Live and SCTV. Are you the gatekeeper? Yeah, ghosts. They scare the pants off me. The polyester pants off me. How you doing? Why you Moranis brings a light touch to the role of Lewis, the swinging accountant. That's great. I'll tell everybody you're coming. We're going to play Twister. We're going to do some break dancing. Hey, are you the gatekeeper? He also shares a unique comedic style with his Ghostbusters co-stars. You better bring him inside. Harold Ramis, co-writer of Animal House, Meatballs and Stripes, and director of Caddyshack and National Lampoon's Vacation. Do you have any hobbies? I collect spores, molds, and fungus. <laughs> Bill Murray. This city is headed for a disaster of biblical proportion. Well, what do you mean, biblical? What he means is Old Testament, Mr. Yes. Mayor. Real wrath of God type stuff. Exactly. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. Bill is like a brother and a partner to me. Uh, in fact, to work with him, uh, it's, it's like greased lightning. It's like jumping into the backseat of a a Daimler and going for a ride. Dan Aykroyd. Sir, what you had there was what we refer to as a focused, non-terminal repeating phantasm or a class 5 full roaming vapor. Real nasty one, too. He's got a lot of problems. Look at the hair. He's a mess. <laughs> That's right. It takes something extraordinary to shock a woman who survived the terrors of alien <laughs> Your girlfriend lives in the corner penthouse of Spook Central. Sigourney Weaver plays Dana. That's a different look for you, isn't it? Are you the key master? There's no ego on this show, you know. It's very um, giving, which has been wonderful. Overseeing a production with the scale and scope of Ghostbusters is an enormous task. You have to go with the flow. But Ivan Reitman's talent and experience as a successful comedy director uniquely qualifies him for the job. He's a great laugher. I think, I mean, I, I always used to think that was a drawback, you know, because he's such an easy laugher. He laughs. I mean, 
Dan or, or myself or Harold can really just paralyze him, and he just falls down laughing. The way I try to influence clients was, I, was to make it real. Action! To make uh, the audience believe that everything they were watching could actually occur was probably happening. They felt that would make the audience more involved. Although Ghostbusters is a comedy, it is also an enormous production with some of the largest and most technically elaborate sets ever constructed in Hollywood. It's a very big crew. We provided a lot of work for the uh, special effects guys, and I hope they'll come up with something for me in the future. Ready, even? Now. Okay. Heading the picture's design team is three-time Oscar winner John DeCure. We were looking for a production designer, someone with a great deal of experience that could handle the kind of uh, size and problems that we were going to have in this film. As a production designer, my interests are in the total uh, visual aspects of the film and how dramatically they work to execute Ivan's picture, the picture that he wants to make. I like to think that it magically appears, but of course nothing just appears. Perhaps DeCure's most impressive accomplishment is the enormous set constructed on Columbia's Stage 16. Well, the set is uh, basically uh, your average uh, pre-Sumerian temple. This section of the set I'm holding here uh, represents what we had on stage 16, probably one of the most technical and expensive sets in the world. The Cure sets have kept hundreds of craftsmen busy. But no one's been busier than the incredible special effects crew assembled by four-time Oscar winner Richard Edlund. We have a short schedule for this project, and an enormous amount of work, and we wouldn't be able to do that had we not had the combined talent and, and uh, the experience of having of worked on several other effects pictures, such as Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Raiders, Poltergeist, E.T. We've been really lucky to, to uh, I think, assemble one of the best effects crew ever, ever assembled. Comedy is very difficult, but for people behind the camera, one of the most difficult things was often not laughing while the cameras were rolling. Ivan was often the worst offender that way. Bill's the mouth. You're right, no human being would stack books like this. Stands the hands. Close, lock the system. Set your entry grid. The light is green. The trap is clean. Harold's the brains. Let's say this Twinkie represents the normal amount of psychokinetic energy in the New York area. According to this morning sample, it would be a Twinkie 35 feet long, weighing approximately 600 pounds. <coughs> That's a big week. Meanwhile, in the greatest city on earth, things are getting worse. But help is on the way. We got one! Don't move. It won't hurt you. Ah! Hello, New York! Ah! Dr. Ray Chan, would you please? The heart of the Ghostbusters. Well, the reason uh, we're doing it as a comedy is because it's so damn frightening. Ghostbusters. Coming to save the world. Soon. We might have to put a little overtime in on this one. The next time you're walking downtown in New York City or down on the nickel in Los Angeles, grab a guy by the shoulder and say, hey, did you see what I just saw? And you'll find that people just don't want to talk to you. We're ready to believe you. An invisible man sleeping in your bed. Oh, who you gonna call? Thank you.